Hello guys, my name is JB. Welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today, we are going to build a... Well, potentially, what would be a perfectly working... A, well, very large lunar rover. Mooner rover, if you will. And... Uh, we'll test it out. i uh, start with the lander can. Zoom in. This is the problem I have, is I can't tell which way is up. I want to say, okay, the little the vent thing is up. So I need to take it... Okay, just like that. Perfect. Yeah. What I like to use as the body for this is... These little guys. Flipped over. And... Not locked. Come on. This is the hard part. The annoying part, anyways. There we go. Oh, well, perfect. And maybe... A th yeah, a third section. Actually... Hmm. Nah. I don't know how that will. I don't know how well that would work if I just put a little tiny one there. Oh, so close. It's fine. Let's not get OCD about it. Obviously, for power, what you want is these little guys here, because relying on solar power is not a good decision, especially if you end up somewhere dark. Uh, six of them will usually do pretty good. So we'll go with that. It's a pretty simple rover when you think about it. It's just the... the lander can with a platform and wheels. Of course the problem now is... getting the wheels on there. I still don't know which way is up with these wheels, so I just always put them like this. As far as I know, they could be upside down, so... And one more set of wheels... Come on, there you go. My mouse isn't the most responsive thing in the world. It's been having problems lately, so don't don't blame me. Put these here. And then some up here. They can oh wait, that's why. It's locked. Uh, snap to is turned on. Doesn't it's kind of derpy. Some pointing out sideways and some in the back. Just like that. They should be plenty high up off the ground. Let's go ahead and give them a ladder. Just the one. Well, I say them, it's just the one guy, but... Oh, I hate this part. My mouse does not help. Okay, that wasn't too bad. She should he he should be able to get up and down off of there pretty easily. Mm, what am I missing? Oh, a battery. Just stick it on top of here. And then more ladders for over here. This 
is the problem I have, is trying to get these things to line up the way they're supposed to. There we go. And then for out here, we use the external command seat. Just one, send it up into the middle. And then if you so choose, you can add, say, a... Just something a little structural in the middle. Just a, one of these guys with... Uh, the science instruments on it. I'm assuming it'll let me... It's not letting me do it. Okay, never mind. I, I tend to use the... Uh, one little probe things right there in case I need to... Remote control the rover, but oh well. All right, that should do it for this thing. It has lights so it can work at night. It has a seat up in the front so we can drive it from outside. It has ladders. It has wheels. It has power generation. Uh, that should do it. But it's pretty big, so we'll call it the Mooner Explorer. And launch. Oh, that made a weird noise. Alright, it is nighttime, so let's go ahead and turn on the lights. They work perfectly. Except for the fact that, well, it's because I have my stuff turned all the way down. Well, not all the way down, but pretty down. Well, let's go ahead and have him get on out of there. Actually, get back in. Hit the brakes first, because it's already starting to roll away. And down you go. And around you go. Let's see if he can... No, let's... Let's drive out first. This is the only problem here that I have with it is... Him... having problems with the little side ladders. But as long as you're close enough to it, it doesn't really make any difference. You can just kind of grab on. Release the brakes. And let's see how fast it can go. This should do about 20 to 25 meters per second. Yeah, 22, 23. Yep, 23. It is capable of... Oh, no! Oh, that was close. Of doing uh, full speed jumps. It has plenty of... Uh, durability and weight to it. It's all good. And decently powerful. It has more than enough power to power all the wheels and lights at the same time while running. It has uh, plenty of cargo space. You could easily add, uh, like I said, the scientific instruments if you so chose. Uh, he can walk around on here just fine. You could even add uh, extra command seats and have it be like a more of a rescue vehicle for the moon if you so chose. Uh, let's see. No, you can't do it. Oh, no, you can. Haha. <laughs> Take that, Kurt. He went all the of Min Mist to test out the flag. I am going to go here.
And we have a flag. Site name. Test site. Suck it, Kurt. And we're good. And just so you know, this is how you how you deal with the flag. You can right click on the little spot underneath it and read the <laughs> nicely done. You can read the plaque or take it down if you so chose. I'm gonna, okay, he only carries the one flag. I was gonna say. Kinda weird. And we'll get him back into the into the internal command module if he can actually get in. There we go. And board. And even the the internal view is pretty good on this on this thing. You could you could drive from in here. The only problem of course is that it being meant for upright means that it reads the it reads that wrong. So Well, yeah, let's... Brakes. Yeah, you can drive around from in here. No problems. Do a jump from inside. Oh, God. We're gonna... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that was close. It doesn't turn the greatest, because it has six wheels, obviously, but... Uh, as long as you're not going to... Let's get out of there. Like, if you don't need the extended one like I made here, you can make a little bitty one, a little version, with uh, this panel missing and the command seat here for just a four-wheel version, and it works just as good. But yes, that'll do it for today's episode. I just wanted to show you the, the rover I made. It's a very effective rover. Uh, I will probably make the download for it available, if anyone so chooses. Uh, leave a comment and I'll go ahead and do it, otherwise I'll just... It's mine and you can go to hell. Anyways, that'll do it for this episode. My name is JP, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time with more Kerbal Space Program.